The word anoint in Hebrew is one of the most significant words we can cover this whole this whole Old Testament year. It's Mashiach. The and Greek. if you if you translate it into English, Mashiach becomes Messiah. Translate into Greek, it com- becomes Christos, or in English, Christ. So it means the anointed one. Now we know that there's one anointed that we all worship. That is Jesus, the anointed. Jesus, the Messiah. But it's interesting, when we go to the temple, we get to be anointed. Now we're not Christ, capital C, or capital M, Messiah, but he wants us to be like him, and so we take that holy anointing oil and take it upon ourselves. Now, we've taught this in other lessons that oil, olive oil particularly, is this amazing symbol of the atonement of Jesus Christ. It turns out when you actually press olive oil really, really hard in those presses, it actually oozes out of the pores of olives blood red. Eventually, it coalesces into vats and and is golden as we typically see it, but initially it's blood red. It literally looks like blood's pouring over rocks. So this amazing symbol that oil is a form of covering ourselves symbolically in the atonement of Jesus Christ, his blood, which heals us physically and spiritually. And that's kind of what the reminder here is that when you are going into the presence of God, you need the liveliness and the power, the vivifying force of his blood to be with you, to be in his presence. And by the way, isn't it, isn't it a remarkable thing that he offers to us in this context to not just come to the temple and maybe see other people experiencing these things we're talking about from the Old Testament? but he invites everyone, man, woman, black, white, bond, free, it doesn't matter, all are alike unto God when you come into the temple, and all are washed and clothed and anointed, and then once you've done that for yourself, what an amazing opportunity that the Lord gives us to say, where where he says basically, I want you to become a little bit more like me. I want you to become a savior on Mount Zion. That doesn't mean that we save these people on the other side of the veil. It means we work hand in hand with the Messiah, the one and only, ultimately, infinitely anointed one, as a little anointed one that Taylor's been talking about, to help bring his salvation to all of these people who are in desperate need of his grace. I I love the symbolism there.